Hey, this is Dean Fields with my thoughts on the viral music player. Uh, basically, I did a two or three day campaign where I just put out a song that was not on a record. Uh, I just finished it, and I'm not quite ready to give that download to anyone. So I thought, you know, here's a good chance to, to share that song, uh, let them listen to it, and have an excuse to share my squeeze page at the same time. So when they clicked on it, they were they were sharing my squeeze page to their friends on Facebook, which was pretty sweet. I had 38 new subscribers on my Aweber list um, on that day and ended up with 55 over two days, which I was pretty excited about. Um, other than that, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to use it for for the next couple of months. I'm going to probably try and do it so that while I'm making new songs for the new record, um, I'm going to share the, those songs with my list send them to a link on my page that will have the viral music player on it and that way they can hear the new music not necessarily download it but then share my squeeze page on their page uh, by listening to it so I'm pretty stoked about it it's it basically gives me a chance to do it um, and not you know kill my own thunder by giving them downloads of the songs before it's really done so um, yeah well done John well done uh, Scott thanks a lot I'll see y'all later